Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos Kid Guru, and today I have a freeware for you guys. I know I haven't really done this in a while, but I really got this cool freeware that I want to show off. I've showed you guys some software a long time ago in the past, Ultramon, uh, and there's some other ones that do what this program does, but this one's called Dual Monitor Taskbar, and this is open source software. It's been around for actually a while. Um, I think I saw this on like a blog like How To Geek. So basically what it does is it takes your taskbar and extends it. This is for you dual monitor users. If you use one monitor, two monitors, you use a laptop and you know a big screen or LCD or anything like that. Uh, this allows you to extend your taskbar and this is really, really, uh, you know, obviously they say dual monitors increase in productivity. This helps out even more. What this does is it allows you to, I'm going to go ahead and show this here. So you have your original taskbar, so I'm going to go ahead and drag over here and show you guys. You can see my original taskbar down there in the bottom right. I have all my apps like Skype and stuff like that, but let's say I drag over here to my second mon back to my other monitor here, um, and you can see I have a whole bunch of other apps open in a whole new taskbar. So what exactly is that? So this is um actually uh it just takes that taskbar and extends it over. It, it may look a little bit different. It has some some issues with arrow uh, scheme and stuff like that, the arrow scheme. Um, but it also I've it seen some bugs. So you can see here in the bottom right corner it has the time and stuff like that. Or I think you guys should be able to see that. Um, and just drag over a little bit more. There you go. So you guys should be able to see that time there. But you'll notice there's no icons on here. But if I hover over, I can actually see the same icons that would be in my taskbar or tray menu. So there is some bugs here and there. Again, it's open source software. Um, but it, for the most part, matches nicely with the Windows 7 theme. And I think for the most part, it will the color will stay about the same. Um, and it really just it allows you to maximize, minimize applications to certain monitors. So you know, if I have this Chrome window over here, I can minimize it to this monitor. Uh, so you'll go down here and then I can obviously just open it up here rather than it being uh, over on my, you know, having all the way go, go all the way to the first monitor, click it and open it. You know, it's a hassle, especially if a lot of windows open, it can get kind of crowded. Um, so in that case, you know, if it's easier to uh, lock one window to a certain monitor in a sense. Uh, now with that you can also open the properties here. So I'll show you guys. Uh, you have taskbar properties. You can show labels, show the clock. You can turn that on or off, show buttons on both taskbars. Oh, so maybe that's why, yeah, that's why it wasn't showing. So now if you enable that, it will be showing uh, in the uh, taskbar over there on the right. So you can see it kind of flips that when I apply it. You can use small icons, auto hide the taskbar. So if you like that feature, you know, if you want it to kind of disappear uh, and then hover over once you pop over it, that works too. Um, let's see here. You can show notification area. You can change the location of it. So just like a regular taskbar, you can move it around. Um, you can automatically have it start with Windows. Obviously, that would be, you know, uh, something you might want to turn on that way it's easier for you to uh, you know uh, right away it runs and it just you feel more it feels more native as a taskbar you just get used to it being there and again you know it's just so simple to minimize it, it and it helps out in you know such a simple application but it helps out tremendously especially if, if you have a lot of monitors in my case I'm using three so uh, it helps out you can do a window manager also so you can add window manager so you can make rules for certain windows so that uh, when you open up a certain application, it opens up in a certain space or anything like that. Uh, so you can have it like move to the primary monitor, the secondary monitor. Um, so I can select a certain window and have it. So like let's say whenever I open up, you know, this program, I can browse for it uh, or anything like Windows Class or Windows Caption. So I can say, you know, whenever I open up Thunderbird, I want my email client to open up right here on my second monitor and kind of just span down on the, you know, right half of the monitor. So if you want to set certain Windows rules, you can actually go in here and set a lot of them. Uh, I still have to do this because I just re reinstalled, but um, this can really help out if you want to, you know, have everything set up nice and neatly. That way, as soon as you kind of open your applications, everything kind of grids out. Again, really, really great tool. It's open source, free, you can't complain. It does a lot of the stuff that Ultramon does for free, so check it out, guys. Again, this is Dual Monitor Taskbar for uh, Windows. This works on Windows 7 XP, I believe, and Vista, so do check this out. Uh, it is free, like I said, and for you guys, for more videos, go over to digitaldojos.com and also youtube.com slash digitaldojos. I recently did a couple videos there that I want to feature. You guys can check out the Dell Mini 10 review if you guys are interested in buying a new netbook or uh, in, in, you know interested specifically in that netbook. We also have some coverage of some Mac apps and uh, some tips for your Mac if you Mac users are out there. So check it out, guys. Again, youtube.com slash digitaldojos. And with that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.